white elephant gift has turned into a passion one middle school secretary never imagined. It all has to do with a little brick candy dispenser that was the craze many years ago, even made it to Seinfeld. Tonight, news specialist Dan Rascone takes us up close with the Pez Queen. Well, this is a woman who truly loves her job, working with students and parents daily, but she never imagined that a school Christmas party would lead to an incredible collection that is now bringing sweetness to the school in a whole new way. The first weeks of school are always a little hectic as students try to get adjusted, but they're to keep them in check. Ochre Hills attendance, this is Kimberly. Kimberly okay. Naffertil. So we'll pull that file. We Who seems to do it all. Preston, you want to go get Boston? Miss Maservi? Yeah. Sean, you want to run the Mr. Littells? From her desk in the main office. Copy that, thank you. But this attendance secretary at Ochre Hills Middle School has a secret staff. Well, actually, it's not a secret at all. In fact, it's all there for everyone to see. Pez dispensers, not just a few or even a dozen, but hundreds of them, all set up in a particular order right behind her desk. Parents or students, when I'm talking to them, and all of a sudden they look up behind me and, you know, you could see the face. It's, holy cow, you know. We first met Kimberly a few weeks before school started. It's kind of like a new adventure every time I open it up. It's a trip down memory lane. It was an amazing sight to see. I gotta be careful. That domino effect has bit me before. As she carefully set up her 350 single Pez dispensers, plus 25 set displays to begin the new school year, each Pez placed in its own category. I keep the Disney figures separate. Star Wars is in one container. This is my unique ones. Energizer Bunny. Got Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Kimberly, known as the Pez Queen, actually started this all by accident. A white elephant you know, gift that came in a can. Oh this can right here was the beginning of Kimberly's Pez collection. She got a few Pez dispensers inside and then it just kind of snowballed from there. People started saying, oh, you collect Pez, and bring me a Pez dispenser. Oh, you collect Pez. And next thing I know, I had probably 20 Pez dispensers within a week or two. But it's more than just a great little treat for kids and a cool thing to look at. For Kimberly, it's a great way to get kids to open up. Pez is a good icebreaker because I'd sweeten them up with a piece of candy. <laughs> and then they would talk to me about the Pez and it's just a huge conversation piece. An unlikely collection for a school secretary who finds joy in a little brick candy dispenser invented nearly 100 years ago. And sometimes it's nice to think about something other than school and in the world and have a little fun with it and eat a piece of Pez candy at the same time. <laughs> Believe it or not, Kimberly tells me she doesn't even like the little brick candy. That's why she says it's safe to have around because there's not a temptation to eat it all. Right now, she says her entire collection includes about 500 individual Pez dispensers, which doesn't include all the sets that she has. Back to you guys.